Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS VivoBook 15 The exact model is an K513E and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up and repaste your motherboard system, the CPU or internals of the laptop By doing this you're not gonna damage the windows, you're not gonna disconfigure the windows or anything like that Everything is gonna be the same way that you left it before we just pretty much opening up and cleaning it up. You should be doing this service every few years or every year, depending the usage that you give to the laptop. I'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna be using. First thing first is an screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers and few other stuff. If not, Grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You will need a curved tweezers and you will need a workshop towel, one sheet of the workshop towel. And you need your favorite thermal paste. I recommend you a Arctic, uh, Arctic MX4 or if you want to go over the board, you can go with the thermal grizzly cryonaut. I'll leave those links again in the video description. You will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropoly alcohol, 95% plus. So with this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First, you wanna power off the laptop and flip it upside down. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are three types of screws in here, the short ones, medium, and the long ones. The short screws are the front end of the laptop. There are four of them, front end. The mediums are the side towards the back and the longest screws are the two in the middle. So we're gonna start removing all the screws and keep them in a different pile so you do not mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content is helping you guys to do your own repaste, cleaning or upgrade, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a huge motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Once we remove all the screws in here, we're gonna grab the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick. And we're gonna stick it between the bottom and the top cover, anywhere you can start from. Uh, start from here, from the left or right speaker. And we're gonna twist it backward and we're gonna see an opening. You should do a few clicks, that's fine. That's what you wanna hear, those click sounds. You wanna do that all the way in the front end of the laptop. Work yourself to the corner, right and corner left. As long as you do the front end and the side, that's fine. Next, what you want to do, you want to put your finger right in here, wiggle it around a little bit, and it will release itself. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the mesh right here. Do not touch this thermal pad. This is for your SSD drive. And right away, you can see the fan. It's a little bit dirty. It's not that dirty. It looks pretty clean, but I'm going to do repaste for you guys only. First thing first, we want to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, we need to remove this metal bracket here. There's a two metal black screws, one chrome screw. So we're going to remove these screws. Okay, now we're going to lift up this metal bracket and put it to one side. We're going to disconnect the battery by pulling, pushing this metal bracket backward by one millimeter. And then we're gonna stick the guitar pick, the plastic one under the, on the back of the jack and push it upward toward the ceiling. Now, we do not need to remove the, uh, the fan at all. We, we just need to remove the heat sink first. So remove the four screws for the heat sink on the CPU. These are short screws. Once you remove those four short screws, you can grab it from here and lift it up and twist it a little bit and it will come out. And if this, yours is really dirty, grab a toothbrush and clean it up, roll some air. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the fins right in here and blow some dry air from here towards the outside. But if you want to blow some air through here, you must disconnect the fan always just by putting 
uh, clippers right at the end of the jack and pulling it back just working around just like that because once you start blowing air through it's gonna rotate and it's gonna give voltage back to the motherboard so you don't want that so you always have to disconnect that all right so you can clean that one up and the thermal paste on the cpu and gpu is right over here you're gonna grab a little bit of workshop towel you're gonna soak it in in a alcohol and we're gonna clean up the cpu just brush over and use that dry part at the end to shine that crystal dye same thing on the heat sink side you want to clean it up really nice just like that now all you need to do is to grab your thermal paste uh, put one drop on the big die and one tiny line, smooch line right on the small die. That's all you need. And now next is to just grab the heatsink, put it right there. Make sure the screw holes for the heatsink matches. Bring it down and put the four screws right on the heatsink. Make sure you always cross screw them. Never go clockwise or counterclockwise. You need to cross screw them always. That way the thermal paste will spread evenly over the CPU die. All right, once we have that one in there, make sure you connect the fan for the motherboard right there. Connect the jack. Bring the connector for the battery evenly over the jack and push it towards the motherboard. Push the lock over. Grab the metal bracket. Put it straight over and put the two screws for the metal bracket. All right, and the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover and place it over and push down the corners really hard. Do you want to hit those clicks? The back side and in the middle, softly click, push down. And the last thing is to put the bottom screws. Remember the short screws go. In the front end of the laptop, the mediums on the side and the long ones are on the mid towards the back. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own repaste and cleaning for your Asus VivoBook 15 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.